In this lecture, we will talk about examples of parabolas. The first example is find the vertex, focus, and directories of the given parabola. 36y equals x squared. Basically, from this equation, we should be able to tell uh, those three elements. Uh, where the vertex is, where the focus is, and where the directories is. Only from the given equation. So, from the algebra thing, we need to find out uh, the geometric point or the lines. Before we do that, we need to recall that the definition for the parabola is the points on the parabola is equidistant uh, from a focus and a directories. So those two things are given focus and directories. Then, of course, the distance between focus and directories is also given. Uh, and then uh, the middle point between focus and directories, of course, is on the parabola because this point is equidistant from focus and directories. And this point on the parabola is special, we call vertex. And we can put this parabola, this vertex, uh, into xy coordinate plane in two different ways, and maybe in four different ways, or more than four. But you know, the first typical way is like this. The vertex is an origin. Then if you know the vertex, you basically can tell where the focus is and where the directories is, only from the uh, equation. This equation, you got to remember the feature. Uh, y stands alone means the graph is symmetric with respect to Y. The open direction is either upward or downward. Okay, and uh, here we have a positive, uh, no negative in front of it. P is positive all the time. So if it's positive, the open direction is upward. The open direction is always the same uh, with the direction that focus is. Okay. And x squared means x can be positive, negative. If you square it, you get positive. And y, in this case, is all the time positive. Uh, remember, 4p is down on denominator, which goes with x squared. Okay, and p is the distance between focus and the vertex, or between vertex and directories. You know, you can also put the parabola into an xy coordinate plane into this way. Okay, and down here is that you have x stands alone, and then the open direction is either to the right or to the left. In this case, is positive, no negative in front of uh, y squared. So the open direction is to the right, uh, to the right. If they were negative, that would be to the left. Okay. Again, 4p always goes with 
variable squared, and 4p is always downstairs. Okay, and p is the distance between focus and vertex. Okay. I probably should write uh, the vertex somewhere here. Okay, so let me write it here, vertex. Okay, right here. Okay, so remember the standard form. Uh, so if the equation is not given in this form, you want to write either like this, positive, negative. Uh, negative means to the left. Yeah. And also, this one, 1 over 4p, you need p. Uh, you need p. And p is the distance between focal points and uh, vertex. Okay. Now, now, let's go back to look at the example. The example right here is 36y equals x squared. So again, previously, you have y stands alone. So in this case, you want to make y stands alone, and then both sides, you see y stands alone. So you want y stands alone here. Both sides divided by 36. Okay. And then cancel this positive, negative, oh no, 36 upstairs and downstairs. So you then have a y equals 1 over 36x squared. Now, comparing our standard one was what? Our standard one was y equals 4px squared. Okay? So you may want to write y equals 1 over 4px squared. That's the standard one. Okay. Comparing this equation with this one, 4p has to be equal to 36. Uh, you see, 4p x squared, 1 over 36x squared. So 4p must be equal to 36. Uh, so that's the deal. And or you may write 4 times 9 is 36. Then you know p has to be 9. Uh, okay. If you know p is 9, in this case, if you know p is 9, the vertex is an origin, so not a problem. So we know in this case, vertex is 0, 0 for sure. Uh, we are done with that. And the first cause has to be 0, 9. You see? 0, P. You have a P is 9 in this case. So then you have a, here is 0, P. So we got the second one we wanted. 0, 9. Okay. All right. Now we then have a, this one. That's y equals negative p. And p we know in this case is 9. Okay. So then y equals negative 9. So the directrix is y equals negative 9. This example basically tells us remembering the standard equation is very important. Okay. All right.